at the end of the last video, I left you with a CV document on Google Docs and on Office Word. And we had a little symbol in this bottom corner where we had downloaded LibreOffice. And what I said was click on the download button here once it had completed and it would install LibreOffice. So that's what I've actually done on this computer. And you can see here I've got the LibreOffice icon. Now what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to set up a document on LibreOffice, how to save it to your computer, and then we're going to look at how to save a finished CV from these two onto your computer as well. There is an advantage in doing that, but we'll look at that a bit later. Okay, so here's LibreOffice. I want to load that onto the screen, so I just double click. And once that's installed and loaded up, we want to do a Word document. Now they call this Writer on LibreOffice. So I'm going to click here for a new document. There's our sheet of paper. If I maximize this window by clicking on the square here, so it fills the screen, and then we can start typing the CV. Now LibreOffice is slightly different to the online Office versions we've looked at because this doesn't automatically save. You've got to save this work yourself. So once you've got your blank document, the next thing is to save it with a title because as with the online ones, this is untitled when it starts out. So I'm going to click on File at the top here. Then I'm going to click on Save As. That will bring up my saving box, as it's called, a dialog box. I want to go into this PC on the left hand side. So I'm just clicking there and then save your documents in the documents folder. So double click. And last of all, this is the name of the file as it is at the moment, untitled one. So I'm just going to click there and give it the same title as we did given the others. So CV example. And then I can either press enter on my keyboard or click on save. Either would save it. Okay, so that is now saved and it says the name up there, look, CV example. Difference again with this is as you keep altering your CV, you must keep saving it. Okay, so keep clicking on file and save every so often now and it will save it over the top of the old one. Okay, I give a rule of saving every five minutes or so. So let's say now that you've finished your CV, the last thing we should do, remembering that you should have been saving as you've been going along, is we need to save it one more time, but this time in a slightly different way. So far we've been saving our file as a LibreOffice file. Okay, but what we need to do now, we need to do File and Save As and save it a different way because the problem is most employers their computers and software won't recognize LibreOffice files so we need to change this one where it says save as type by clicking on the arrow and change it to a word 2007 365 type so I click there might be an idea to give it a slightly different name as well. So I'll click at the end there and we'll call it Word. We'll put Word on the end just so we know which one's which. OK, and then click on Save. And it'll ask you to confirm that. Are you sure you want it as a Word document? Yes, we are. So now it's been saved in a format that most employers will recognize. Now let's do that with our Internet versions. So if I go to the Internet, this is our Google Docs one, so I'm going to click on File. Again, we've got the Finish CV, File. We're going to download this time from the internet, from the cloud, onto our computer, and we're going to make it again a Word document, something that all employers will recognize. Click on that, and when I do that, it automatically downloads it into your download folder on your computer. Now, don't worry about that. We'll find that later on in the next video when I show you how to send your finished CV to your employer in an email. OK, so that's it downloaded from Google Docs. Last of all, let's get it from 
Office Online. So this is our Office Online Word version and I want to download that. So I'm going to click on File. I'm going to do Save As, not Save As, actually I'm going to download a copy. We want to download it again from the internet. So download a copy. Are you sure you want to do that? It's asking us to confirm it. Now we don't need to change the type this time because it's already in Microsoft Word. So download a copy. And in the same way as this one, which we downloaded from Google Docs, you'll get a symbol here to say that it's downloaded into your download folder. Okay, so your CV is finished. You've done it on any one of these three versions and you saved it onto your computer. Watch the next video to see how to send your finished CV to your prospective employer.